time my phone went wonky and but now here we are okay I'm gonna just get started and I'm gonna flip my phone down so all right Today I'm gonna to be using some canvas. You could be using watercolor paper or something with a little more structure. You could use a canvas panel, but this is what I had in my office, so this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use some basic masking tape, and then we're gonna use a few colors of acrylic paint. These are non-toxic, so you shouldn't have any problem getting them off of your hands. Though if you're worried about you or your child getting it on your clothes, I would suggest using clothes that are meant for art. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay some tape down. This canvas happened to have some stuff on it already, so I'm just gonna let that be. And I'm just gonna make pockets of places where I can put paint. You can decide if you, like you could actually cut this tape down if you wanted smaller pieces or you could just use thinner tape, which could be fun as well. And if you wanted to make it more of a math kind of lesson, you could ask your kids what kind of triangle this is. There we go. A right angle triangle. This way to turn the art into math lessons. Love it. Now the key here You don't need your tape to like hang over like this or you'll get that spot. Everywhere where we're gonna have tape is gonna be white or the color of our canvas. So technically you could paint the background of this a color if you prefer, but I'm just gonna leave it white. And see what kind of fun we can get into. They don't all have to be triangles. It's fun to see how many shapes we can make. All right. It's kind of exciting doing this in real time with you. Because then you get a feel for how long it's actually going to be. How many of you did the art with our videos from yesterday. Yesterday we had a watercolor resist that seemed like a lot of fun. And then we did a piece using oil pastels to make a kind of art that looked like a granny square. Ooh, maybe I could do some different shapes up here. There we go. And some stripes I feel like might be needed. You can make this part, the taping part, as complicated or as non-complicated as you need it to be, depending on the age of your child or yourself. But I guess the bigger point is, is that it doesn't need to be complicated at all. Plus, when we get to finger painting, oh my gosh. This is just going to be the best. We have seen tons of people, the people that have been coming in, all have been buying canvas and paint and ha getting things for their kids to do at home. So I thought this might be a good lesson. And if your child is older, 
This will keep them busy for a while. Which I think there are people out there who are excited about that. If you wanted to get fancy, you could also spell a word. Like you could put your name here in paint if you wanted. Or you could spell, I don't know, any word, I guess. You could say fun or art or art studio and make a sign. Or you could put your last name on it and hang it on your front door. Okay, I'm going to wear gloves. Um, you don't need to do this because the paint that we're using will be fine to be on your hands and then washed off. But I'm going to use it just for today's purposes. And I'm going to finger paint. You could use a brush as well. But there's just something about painting with your fingers that's kind of fun. And I'm just going to spread the paint around. You know when you do this? I did this already because I knew what I was doing, but you want to make sure all the edges of your tape are pressed down pretty well. And we'll be able to mix colors. They don't all have to be the same color. But find your inner five-year-old and imagine that you are just spreading paint around. Or maybe you are five and you're just having fun anyway. Oh yes, I'm gonna pick up some green. I might just put it right on my finger. Then that way I have a little more control about where the paint's going. Okay, raise your hand if this just looks like fun. I'm raising my hand because I already know it is fun. It's okay if you let this dry and you come back like this. You can still see the white canvas through this triangle here, but if you wanted to make it darker, you absolutely could come back late you know, after the first layer's dried and then do another layer. You wanna remember that thin layers are good because you can always add more paint. It's hard to take it away. Right? It's easier to add more paint once a thin layer is dry. If your paint is very, very thick, it may take you a really long time to get it dry. And that's not as fun, waiting for paint to dry. Let's do some pink. You could do this with all sorts of different colors. You could make like an ombre color and do dark at the bottom. Hi, Amy, how's it going? We're finger painting. We've basically taped down our canvas. We've got a canvas here and I've used tape to tape out some shapes and now I'm finger painting. kind of fun. You could get really into this. For those of you that are a little more advanced than just finger painting, you could you could get a lot of detail in some of these places. Oh, I'm well, thank you. How are you? How are you beating boredom these days? It's super fun to watch how some of these colors blend together. Here we 
we go. I didn't even have that much paint on my fingers. But it's kind of fun to see how the paint blends. Oh my goodness, now for my favorite color ever. What's your favorite color? Tell me in the comments below. Oh, maybe I don't have that much in here. Yeah, art is the best. If there are project ideas that you guys want to see me do in a video, I'd be glad to entertain all of those ideas. I've got some more planned for this week and this weekend and next week. But if there's something you want to see, I'd be glad to take those suggestions. I'm trying to keep the projects easy so we can get a wide range of ages in them. Oh, look, you can get really creative. Look at all those finger marks in there. And watch this, you could use your fingernail and do some doodles right into the paint. For those of you that are art journalers out there, this is a great technique for your art journals too. It adds a lot of texture to your pieces. I know it's hard to see the entirety of this piece right now, but I will hold it up for you once we take the tape off so you can see the whole thing. Oh, yes. If you are thinking, hey, where am I supposed to get paint and canvas and how am I supposed to leave my house right now? Well, I've got a couple options for you. One, we could, I mean, we're open. So you could just come, you could come see us. We're taking many precautions to clean door handles several times a day, clean the bathrooms. We're all practicing, you know, being farther apart from each other. We're using registers that are apart from each other as well. Um, and then we also have curbside pickups, so we'd be glad to pull an order together for you if you need that. See, it's okay to layer Layer the colors. What do you think it's gonna look like when we take the tape off? Does anyone have any ideas? Oh, and don't forget to do the edges of your canvas too. That's important. Okay, now I'm gonna make some dots. And all I'm doing is taking my fingers and pressing. I've got paint from moving paint around on the tips of my fingers. And now I'm just making some dots. Do you see that?
as we learned in yesterday's video, making noise while we're doing art is part of the fun. Oh yeah, this is great. Now, if your child or you start experiencing muddy colors and you're not really sure why you're just ending up with brown, I would say that you're just mixing it a little too much. Probably doesn't need to be mixed so much. And you could make sure that you're using colors that go well together. See, it's starting to get a little gray down in here. So I'm gonna throw some blue on here. Well, I'm not gonna throw it, but place it gently with my finger because we're not throwing paint. We're keeping our painting spaces beautiful. There we go. Can you see all that scratching? This is especially a good reason to be having gloves on. Excellent, we have a lot of layers. Looks like we're having a lot of fun. I'm just gonna put a little more mint green on here and then even though this isn't you would at home wait until this is dry a little bit i'm going to take the paint off before it's dry so you can see it are you ready okay oh goodness here is part of the big reveal. Now, use a finger that doesn't have paint on it. What? Oh boy, this is getting exciting. Let's get some more paint or tape off. Here's a piece. I'm gonna take my glove off to do this so I can actually get to the paint part, or the tape part. Ooh, look at this. This is exciting. That one was a good one to take off because it picked up a lot of other pieces with it. There we go. Can you see why we want to make sure the tape is pressed down really well to the canvas? Do you see how this like bled out a little bit? That's okay, as you know, as long as you know that might happen. I'm starting to see some really cool stuff come up in my painting that I wasn't, didn't realize before. Can you see this part right here? Kind of looks like a flower garden. That is very exciting. And that kind of looks like a mountain.
What do you guys think so far? Once we're done, I'll show you the whole thing because the, the whole thing is not fitting in the screen right at the moment. And one more little piece of tape. Come here, little buddy. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So much paint. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up for us to see now. Hi, Karen. Did you guys have fun doing that? I sure did. Check this out. Oh, look, I see some things that I didn't see before. I didn't notice that I'd made a gigantic square right in the middle of the canvas. And I love how all of the colors, you can tell it's one painting, but you see different things. Like, see there on the right? Are you guys seeing it that way? That little space that kind of looks like a flower garden? And you saw me do it, all I did was finger paint, right? Oh, you, you guys are gonna have some amazing art pieces and I cannot wait to see them. So what I'm really hoping is that when you get your paintings done, you post a picture in the comments below so we can see what you've been up to and how you're using your craft supplies. And like I said, if you guys need orders or curbside pickup, we can definitely do that and pull together some really good um, colors for you, art supplies, and just bring it right out to your car. And if you have suggestions for videos you wanna see next, let us know. Thanks guys for playing with me today. I hope you got something out of it and you have fun doing art. Bye.